Hi everybody, I'm Pia from Stitches and Scraps and today I want to show you how to make this diagonal basket weave stitch pattern. Diagonal basket weave is a stockinette type stitch, meaning that it is all knits on the front and all purls on the back. And that means that it's going to want to curl just like stockinette. So this swatch that I'm working on, which is actually a blanket square that I'm making, has a garter stitch border mainly just to help with the curling. So we're going to ignore that garter stitch border because what I really want to show you is this diagonal basket weave stitch in the middle. It's basically, you can think of it like mini cables. It's like one stitch over one stitch cables because we're crossing the stitches over each other to make them go back and forth like this in this basket weave pattern. So let's take a look at how that's done. We're on the knit side, the right side of the stitch right now. So for this row, we're going to be knitting. We're going to take our stitches in pairs and cross them over each other. So these are our first two stitches. This is our first pair. We're going to knit it out of order, meaning we're going to knit the second stitch first, and then we're going to knit the first stitch. So to knit the second stitch, we're actually going to knit it through the back loop. So that means you turn your work over a little bit here and find the back loop of the stitch and knit through that. Now obviously we cannot remove it from the needle right now because the other stitch is in the way. So we're just going to leave it there um, for the moment and you, that's our knit stitch through the back loop. Then we're going to come back and we're going to knit through the front loop just like a normal knit stitch for this first stitch that we had skipped. So we knit through that. Now we've knit both of these two stitches so we can just pull them both right off of our needle. And that is our first cross. You can see how the stitch crosses over to the left. Okay, so now let's do that again. We're going to knit the second stitch through the back loop without taking it off the needle. Oops. Yeah, it's really easy to split your yarn when you do this, so pay a little bit of attention to that. There we go. And then we're going to knit the first stitch through the front loop like normal. And then we take both of these stitches off of our needle. Let's do that one more time. Knit through the back loop, and then knit through the front loop. Okay, knit the second stitch through the back loop, knit the first stitch, as normal through the front loop. And you can see you sort of get a rhythm going where you're rocking the needle back and forth to do this back loop and then the front loop. And then the back loop. And then the front loop. And we're going to continue this down the whole row and at the end, we're going to have one stitch left over. And the reason for that one extra stitch, the reason that we're starting with an odd number of stitches is because when we work on the opposite side now, it's going to offset our crosses. Otherwise, we would just be crossing stitches over each other back and forth, and we'd have columns of cross stitches, which is not what we want. We want them offset by one stitch. So I just have a couple more of these to do, and then I'll get to that last stitch. When you get to the last stitch, and in this case, this is my last stitch before the, the border that I'm doing, you're just going to knit it just like a normal stitch. And that's our first row or our right side row of diagonal basket weave stitch. And you can see it's created these little crosses that are all leaning to the left. So now let's look at the wrong side row. On the wrong side, we're going to do pretty much the same thing except in purls instead of knits. So we're purling the second stitch and then we're purling the first stitch. And because we're purling, we don't really need to go into the back loop. It's easy enough to just do that in the front loop. So we're going to purl the second stitch just like a normal purl. And again, we're, we can't take it off the needle, so we've just got our purl stitch sitting here. And then we're going to purl the first stitch. And you may need to hold the second stitch out of the way so that you can get into the first stitch without splitting the yarn here at all. But then we purl the first stitch like normal. Okay. 
and take both stitches off of our needle. And watch your tension here if you need to loosen up after your stitch because it does tend to get a little tight on these purl stitches. So we purl the second stitch and then we make some room here and we purl the first stitch. One more time, purl the second stitch make some room and purl the first stitch. And again when we get to the end of the row we're going to knit our last stitch and that's all there is to diagonal basket weave stitch. It creates this back and forth crisscross because on this row we're crossing the same way we're crossing to the left but we're on the wrong side so when we look at the front you can see we're crossing to the right instead and that gives us these back and forth crosses offset by one stitch which is what makes the diagonal basket weave stitch. Thanks for watching!